Shalom, I'm Rabbi Dov Linzer, and welcome to our new series, The Rosh Yeshiva Responds, where I answer questions from our rabbis in the field. And today's question comes from a rabbi in Baltimore, Maryland, and it's about reading the Megillah, not with everybody present, but people watching by Zoom. Do you fulfill the mitzvah and certain other related questions? So he asks four questions. Number one, do you fulfill the mitzvah? Number two, even assuming you fulfill the mitzvah, do all the readers have to be in the same place? Number three, if you're, watch, if you're watching by Zoom at home, is it, do you have an obligation to read along with the Chumash? And number four, the big question, can some of the readers who don't own Megillahs, can they read from the Chumash and do we fulfill the mitzvah? So to go by those through those questions, number one, can you do it through Zoom? The answer here is that there's a debate of the post -game. Some say that through Zoom, they went here with Zoom, through the telephone. Doesn't count. It's just a digital reproduction of your voice. It's not your voice itself. But many say that it does count because the way we experience this is the person's voice. If you're talking on the telephone, you think you're talking to the person. You don't think that you're talking to a digital representation, you know, or some form of electronic representation of the person's voice. And since it's experienced that way, Halacha doesn't have to look at the physical, you know, details that only scientists know. It's experienced directly and it counts as hearing directly from that person. So yes, for Megillah, rabbinic law, you can certainly, nobody has many choices. You can definitely do it through Zoom or the telephone. Number two, what's the story? Do they all have to be in the same place? And the answer is no. If I listen to one parak in one show and I cross the street and go to another show, I fulfill the mitzvah. So here too, the readers can be all in their own homes, respective homes. Number three, is it necessary to read along in a Chumash? And the answer is no, it's just like hearing in a show. You can follow in a Chumash. Reading along is not a good idea out loud because then you're not fully able to pay attention to what's being read. Now the big question, number four, can I fulfill the mitzvah if some of the readers are reading from home and they're reading by a Chumash? Now, Shulchan Aruch says in 690 section three, that in order to fulfill the mitzvah, I have to have the Megillah itself, right, the actual cloth of the Megillah itself, I have to have that uh, the majority has to be written, and also the beginning and the end and full sections have to be written. That's point number one. Point number two is if you're reading from a kosher Megillah, it's enough to read the majority. So assuming that there's a kosher Megillah that the people reading from the Megillah are reading from, Maybe other people can read the minority through a Chumash. Is that true? And I feel by analogy that that's not the case. If for example, you and I was reading the, from the Megillah at, you know, in show, and I looked up and I read like a parak, that would be reading part of it, you know, uh, um, not inside. But if I put away the Megillah and you and I took a walk and I said some of it by heart, and then we came back to the show, I would say that that's not reading the Megillah outside, it's not reading the Megillah at all. It has to be somehow in the context of the Megillah. Now you could say, having heard it by Zoom and watching it by Zoom is like we're present, it is in the context of reading the Megillah, but I would have a hesitation. So my advice would be that the people who are reading the Megillah, right, so if I'm reading the Megillah here, I could look at it down here and read it, or, I mean, you could have the camera directly above, so you actually see the writing itself. That would be a cool experience. So if you see the writing itself, then you're relating to the physical cloth. And then when it's your turn to read from a Chumash, if you are still seeing the Megillah open, and you're saying it from a Chumash, to me that feels like you're reading the minority outside. So that is what I would advise. Have one window open, which has a camera on the Megillah, and you're reading from another window that has in it the parak that you're reading, you're looking straight at it, and you're reading part of it outside. So I think that what we should be doing for, for Megillah is yes, people fulfill the mitzvah, and core number two, if some of your readers are reading from a Chumash, that's fine if, I would say, that only if they're looking at the Megillah at the same time, which makes it in the context of reading the Megillah. I hope you all have a happy Purim, and I look back. I, I look forward to you joining me for the Rosh Hashiva Responds next time. Be well.